Hey there, it's Michael, and of course, Hopi Girl. Come here, Hope. Give every one of you of who you are. There she is. All right, so a couple weeks ago, I was recording an episode of the Heart Healthy Hustle Show with Jonathan Frederick. Now, say that 10 times fast. Jonathan is an awesome sauce kind of guy. His podcast is totally worth listening to. And of course, Hopi loves it because he uses alliteration. You know, all those H's? Well, since this show speaks to young professionals, he asked me a very important question at the end of the interview. He asked me, Michael, what advice would you give the 25-year-old version of yourself? Now, if I wanted to be clever, which I didn't necessarily want to do with Jonathan, I would have shared, I wouldn't give any advice to the younger version of myself because all my life experiences from 25 to 50 plus, well, all those life events have turned me into the person I am today. So I wouldn't necessarily want to go back in time. But as I mentioned, I didn't want to go there, but I did want to share great advice with Jonathan and all of his listeners, but I didn't want to be cliche, even though cliche advice sometimes work, you know, works like follow your passion, follow your purpose, play the long game, all that good stuff like that. Well, as a member of our Peloton, you will not be surprised that the advice I share with Jonathan and his listeners was to breathe more, as in grab a few more PBRs and trade a little bit of their hustle for more intention, all in an effort to create the wealth that they desire not only at work or with their career, but also in their life. Of course, starting from the inside out. Now, I'm not sure about you. I thought that was pretty good advice, right, Hopi? Right, she says yes, off camera she says yes. You know, the type of advice that's right straight down the fairway. Well, during, during that moment though, I felt compelled to share some other advice. And this advice works whether you're 25, 35, or 45, and here it is. Talk with your parents. Talk with your parents about how they wish to live. Listen to understand their perspective. Talk with them about uncomfortable things like money, selling their house, driving, or maybe not driving, and one day, maybe moving into senior living. Talk to them about accepting, which is really hard, the toughest part of change, the toughest change that most of us face growing old, losing our independence. Growing up, we never talked about these things. Instead, we sort of ignored the elephant in the corner of the room. We took it one day at a time, and we didn't take it one day at a time because we were trying to be present and all that jazz. No, it was our way to avoid reality or perhaps argue with reality. And unfortunately, you know this, that when we argue with reality, reality always wins 100% of its arguments. So talk to them about being grateful. Grateful when they only see unattractive options. Tell them that you love them even when they resist you on the need to change. And let them know as empathetically as possible, and maybe use Hopi to help out, that change is tough, but we need to change anyway. We need to make that change. Victor Frankl once shared, when, we no want, when we're no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. And the best way to change ourselves is to start with a conversation. And the best way to start a conversation well, you can start that by taking a breath. Until next week, hope he says, have fun storming the castle, as do I. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.